Hello and welcome to Flutats. In this tutorial, we're gonna be making this heart animation inside of After Effects, and we're gonna learn one of the animation principles called overshooting. So let's get started. First, we're gonna select our rectangle tool that you can see on the toolbar right here, and we're gonna create a rectangle. Doesn't matter how it looks like because we're gonna change the parameters right here we're gonna delete the stroke because we don't, we don't need stroke go to the rectangle path go to size and and select this one this option right here then we're gonna change the size to 150 and here we're gonna make it like 50 then we're gonna change the size to the scale to 190 then we're gonna rotate this to 45 and for rounded edges, we're gonna increase this right here to 150 until it's like a sphere, looks like a sphere. Then what we're gonna do is add an effect called mirror. Let's drop on this to our layer. And we're gonna divide this to... Now we have a shape of a heart. What you're gonna do now is position this to the bottom so it's centered. I'm gonna move this to the right a little bit. There you have it. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is a learning platform that offers thousands of classes from design to animation to 3D modeling and other stuff like marketing, business stuff. You can watch and learn and search classes based on your skill level that are made by professional teachers that are on the industry and one of the courses I learned a lot from and helped me on my workflow are Flag Animation by Laurentine Lurnik and Digital Character Illustration by Justina Stasek. And the good thing about Skillshare is that you pay less than $10 a month with annual subscription and you don't just get one class but instead you get the whole library of classes on the platform that is always expanding with more professional teaching teachers coming to the platform and teach their skills. And for the first 1000 viewers who sign up gets the free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership, claim yours before it's gone. Now let's go back to our video. Now we're gonna animate the rotation. On this one we're gonna learn something called overshooting. And to apply the overshooting effect we're gonna add the keyframe right here first. And we're gonna go 5 frames after. We're gonna add the keyframe. Then we go 2 frames and we're gonna add the keyframe. Then we go another 5 and we're gonna add the keyframe. Then we're gonna add a keyframe after three frames after the last one. Now let's change the rotation to 35 at the second keyframe. And that's what makes the overshooting. So you build animation before it starts. So instead of going rotation, it goes backward a few steps, then it builds the animation. Now let's make this to 235. Then it goes to 215 then it goes to 225 so the same position at, as the start now we have this animation it's kind of boring so what we're gonna do is select all keyframes right quick keyframe assistance and easy is or a shortcut f9 this will give the animation a little bit smoother but we have to play with the graph editor so we make it more realistic so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this to the right we're gonna drag this to the middle like so we're gonna do the same thing for this I'm gonna drag this to the right so what that does is just like build up some speed at the beginning then it slows down then it goes to the top the peak of the animation then it goes down and does the same thing here so you just give your animation some speed in different positions instead of just flat animation as we call it in animation linear animation so as you can see here it's more realistic than the start i'm gonna change this to 20 because it's it's a lot now it looks better so nothing is left from here you just have to like duplicate this five times and we're gonna pick uh, our colors so for this it's gonna be red or this one is gonna be yellow 
and this blue and last one is gonna be black so now they are all moving at the same speed and the same position so it, you're, gonna, you're not gonna notice the colors that behind the shape so what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these keyframes one frame so they are not on the same position rotation I mean so you see them one after the other now you're gonna see the other colors and for the uh, the other example as you see here the second version of this uh, animation we have just uh, like yeah we just take these layers and go to scale this one have to be one 110 it's 120 130 and 140 this will give more scale to different scales to the shapes so you can notice them instead of them animating behind the black shape so you see nothing so that's it for this tutorial make sure to subscribe for more and i'm gonna be putting a link to a course called animation principles by jake barlett he's a great animation uh, teacher so you can learn more principle of animation in his course and i will see you in the next one bye